Tonight on Nightline, shark junkies to ride or not to ride. These guys will do anything for the thrill of coming as close as possible to the ocean's most feared predator. Tonight, the conservationists with a different idea of who's in danger. From New York City, this is Nightline with Cynthia McFadden. Good evening and thanks for joining us. You're used to hearing about shark attacks, but a new trend might just be more alarming. People attacking sharks. There's a new breed of daredevil on the open seas, and they're treading dangerous waters, grabbing sharks, riding sharks, and experts say it's sharks, not humans, who are paying the price. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. There's a lot of dumb stuff out there on the internet, and this might be the dumbest. Close me up. A fun-loving Australian <laughs> fisherman cage diving uh, with a bird cage. We'll be right in the cage. And a ten-foot tiger shark. Sean Harrington was trying to create a viral video to promote his clothing line, and he admits it all went a bit uh, pear shaped. Checking you out, hey. I turned around and I seen the shark coming for me, and then I just threw the bird cage right behind my legs, and pretty much just saved me from hitting, like probably grabbing my leg. So I've got to thank the bird cage, really. But you know what? More and more people are jumping into the ocean with sharks all over the world, and it could be the making or the breaking of the endangered apex predator of our oceans. Sharks really can't afford any more negative PR or publicity because we really need to save sharks on this planet. We need them. Just check out this Florida teenager who hitched a ride on a whale shark last summer. I decided that, you know what, I should maybe go try and swim with them because it, I might not be able to do it ever again. You're crazy. And this Nantucket fisherman who grabbed a 200-pound sand shark in the surf. <laughs> I think people just kind of think I'm crazy. I mean, it seems wild running into the water and grabbing a shark by its tail. This is huge. Shark tourism is now a $300 million a year industry with more than 80 shark diving centers in 29 countries attracting shark junkies to get closer than ever. It's also like this thrilling, exciting adventure. And people want that now. People don't want the ordinary. They want the exciting, the thrilling, the awesome adventure. And sharks can deliver. Nick. I went cage diving with great whites in South Africa a couple of years ago, but even that's a bit old hat these days. Oh, no! My brave and brawny yes. colleague Matt Gutman went diving with tiger sharks in the Bahamas last summer wearing nothing more than a wetsuit. No cage in sight. If a small shark uh, was to make a mistake and bite you, chances are we could probably handle it. If a big shark makes a mistake and bites you, chances are you're going to bleed to death on the boat. A tourist on one of Jim Abernethy's cageless dives was killed in 2008. A series of mistakes were made. Human or animal? Human. Human mistakes. Yeah. And right there is the issue, the making or the breaking. If no one gets killed, then we learn to love and respect sharks and conservation efforts blossom. Also, fishermen might realize sharks are worth more alive as tourist attractions than dead as shark fin soup. But if a lot of divers start dying, if I lose my life doing it, not only do I lose my life, but I make them look bad, too. That's going to make people's perception go way back to the Jaws perceptions. Which is why there was online outrage when a tourist posted this image of a diver hugging a lemon shark off Bora Bora. There really is a lot of experience that goes into it, and if people did it all the time, a lot of people would be getting seriously injured or killed. Mark Healy is a big wave surfer and self-proclaimed waterman in Hawaii who regularly dives cageless with sharks. That moment when you're actually close enough to a large shark to touch it, there's things that you see as far as muscle definition and, and things that never really transfer onto film that just really are impactful. That, in part, explains why more and more people are diving with sharks. Whoa! The right. It's also Shark Week, now an annual event on Discovery. Sharks are, in a way, the kings of the final frontier, our oceans, the least explored part of our globe. Sharks are still mysterious. They excite fascination 
and or fear in all of them. You bring up sharks, it's like religion or politics. People get really emotional. One side, they're like, these things are benevolent creatures like unicorns or something and would never hurt me because I have a special connection. I think that's total BS. On the other hand, you have people that um, think they're absolute killers. It's really something in between. So on the one hand, we have the likes of model slash diver Ocean Ramsey, who actually swims with great whites. Yep, that's a great white. It's misunderstood and misconstrued as they're ravenous, you know, mindless, man-eating machines, and that's not how they are. You're f***ing crazy. And on the other hand, people more akin to our Nantucket dude who likes to wrestle. Catching sharks is my favorite thing to do. Any big fish, really. It's just so, just a big battle. It's so fun. Bottom line, shark diving might be a good thing for us and them, but only if we do it right. We can't treat these animals like dogs and cats, because they're not. They're predators, and we have to really respect them and give them credit. Even experienced divers like Mark Healy have had close calls. He was riding with a seemingly friendly tiger shark in the Bahamas. But when he went back in for another ride, the same shark turned on him. Oh, I'm out of here. Sharks, they're still wild animals. I make no bones about it. You can have great interactions with 100 tiger sharks. It's a numbers game. You're going to run into that one personality that that's the shark that would, you know, mug you with a knife on the streets in Brooklyn. Uh, don't try this at home. Here's my favorite shark statistic. Up to 100 million sharks are killed by humans every year, while only five humans, yep, just five, are killed by sharks. <laughs> Our Australian thrill seeker is lucky, but he wasn't one of them. My wife still hasn't even seen the clip and she still won't watch it. And yeah, I'm still in the doghouse. She still won't talk to me. I've tried the flowers trick. It's not even tried the dinner trick. It's not cutting it. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline. Are you kidding me, mate? In Los Angeles. Our well, thanks to Nick Watt. Next, a car full of kids and a cop with a gun. What went wrong? And happy birthday to the first lady. Michelle Obama speaks out about the future. ABC News Nightline.